What you've got here is borosilicate glass at just below red heat. That's about 700 degrees Celsius being plunged into regular water. Now, at first, it doesn't look like anything's happening because the Leiden frost effect has created a layer of steam around the glass rod. And then it collapses. You see it collapse? Let's watch that collapse again up close and personal. And of course, when it collapses like that, all of a sudden now you've got liquid water in contact with the glass rather than there being a layer of steam between the two, which acts as a fairly decent insulator. And now you've got the, the water directly in contact with this really hot glass. And so it starts heating the water much better and actually starts boiling the water locally. Now these were all filmed at about 20,000 frames per second, which is blisteringly fast. So that's what you can see is the, the bubbles expanding and contracting there. Those bubbles are full almost entirely of water vapor, which at this temperature we would normally call steam. Uh, which is why they can collapse at this a huge speed and then after it sucks the water up it just breaks off the end which is weird now it's not boiling the water anymore it's only once it's mostly cooled down that it actually cracks the glass so let's have that boy again it sucks the water back up and only once it sucks the cool and coolish water up the inside of the mostly cool glass does it crack do I understand why? Eh, not so much. But the reason I was doing this is because I wanted to do a comparison between that and silica. Now this is silica at red heat. This is uh, again about 700 degrees Celsius. And at first it looks fairly seeming. But you see, the reason I'm doing this is silica is a much more durable substance. That you can take silica from white heat, even hotter than this, and just stick it into water, and the stuff is all but completely immune to thermal shock. So you've got it now boiling the water, and you can see the little bubbles sort of um, yeah, expanding and collapsing. And this is, of course, making lots of hissing noise in real time. And now it's starting to suck the water back up the, the center of the tube. This, bear in mind, was about the time that the borosilicate glass cracked. And here there's really none of it. It just spontaneously boils. It sucks water back up, but nothing happens. It just sits there. You got some flash boiling going on, but other than that, it's all but indestructible to thermal shock. So I've got loads of stuff like this, which I should stress is not all slow motion video. So if you liked it, yep, hit the subscribe button to see more like it.